17th century missionary activity in Asia and the Americas grew strongly, put down roots, and developed its institutions, though it met with strong resistance in Japan in particular. At the same time Christian colonization of some areas outside Europe succeeded, driven by economic as well as religious reasons. Christian traders were heavily involved in the Atlantic slave trade, which had the effect of transporting Africans into Christian communities. A land war between Christianity and Islam continued, in the form of the campaigns of the Habsburg Empire and Ottoman Empire in the Balkans, a turning point coming at Vienna in 1683. The Tsardom of Russia, where Orthodox Christianity was the established religion, expanded eastwards into Siberia and Central Asia, regions of Islamic and shamanistic beliefs, and also southwest into the Ukraine, where the Uniate Eastern Catholic Churches arose. There was a very large volume of Christian literature published, particularly controversial and millennial but also historical and scholarly. Hagiography became more critical with the Balandists, and ecclesiastical history became thoroughly developed and debated, with Catholic scholars such as Baronius and Jean Mabillon, and Protestants such as David Blondel laying down the lines of scholarship. Christian art of the Baroque and music derived from church forms was striking and influential on lay artists using secular expression and themes. Poetry and drama often treated biblical and religious matter, for example John Milton's Paradise Lost. Topic. Changing attitudes, Protestant and Catholic At the beginning of the century James I of England opposed the papal deposing power in a series of controversial works, and the assassination of Henry IV of France caused an intense focus on the theological doctrines concerned with tyrannicide. Both Henry and James, in different ways, pursued a peaceful policy of religious conciliation, aimed at eventually healing the breach caused by the Protestant Reformation. While progress along these lines seemed more possible during the Twelve Years' Truce, conflicts after 1620 changed the picture, and the situation of Western and Central Europe after the Peace of Westphalia left a more stable but entrenched polarization of Protestant and Catholic territorial states, with religious minorities. The religious conflicts in Catholic France over Jansenism and Port Royal produced the controversial work Lettres Provinciales by Blaise Pascal. In it he took aim at the prevailing climate of moral theology, a speciality of the Jesuit order and the attitude of the College de Sorbonne. Pascal argued against the casuistry at that time deployed in «cases of conscience», particularly doctrines associated with probabilism. By the end of the 17th century, the Dictionnaire historique et critique by Pierre Bale represented the current debates in the Republic of Letters, a largely secular network of scholars and savants who commented in detail on religious matters as well as those of science. Proponents of wider religious toleration—and a skeptical line on many traditional beliefs— argued with increasing success for changes of attitude in many areas including discrediting the false decretals and the legend of Pope Joan, magic and witchcraft, millennialism and extremes of anti-Catholic propaganda, and toleration of the Jews in society. <laughs> Polemicism and Irenicism Contention between Catholic and Protestant matters gave rise to a substantial polemical literature, written both in Latin to appeal to international opinion among the educated, and in vernacular languages. In a climate where opinion was thought open to argument, the production of polemical literature was part of the role of prelates and other prominent churchmen, academics in universities and seminarians in religious colleges, and institutions such as Chelsea College in London and Arras College in Paris were set up expressly to favour such writing. The major debates between Protestants and Catholics proving inconclusive, and theological issues within Protestantism being divisive, there was also a return to the Irenicism, the search for religious peace. David Parius was a leading Reformed theologian who favored an approach based on reconciliation of views. Other leading figures such as Marco Antonio de Dominis, Hugo Grotius and John Dury worked in this direction. Topic. Heresy and demonology. The last person to be executed by fire for heresy in England was Edward Whiteman in 1612. The legislation relating to this penalty was in fact only changed in 1677, after which those convicted on a heresy charge would suffer at most excommunication. 
accusations of heresy, whether the revival of late antique debates such as those over Pelagianism and Arianism or more recent views such as Socinianism in theology and Copernicanism in natural philosophy, continued to play an important part in intellectual life. At the same time as the judicial pursuit of heresy became less severe, interest in demonology was intense in many European countries. The skeptical arguments against the existence of witchcraft and demonic possession were still contested into the 1680s by theologians. The Gangrena by Thomas Edwards used a framework equating heresy and possession to draw attention to the variety of radical Protestant views current in the 1640s. Topic. Trial of Galileo In 1610, Galileo Galilei published his Sidereus Nuncius, describing observations that he had made with the new telescope. These and other discoveries exposed difficulties with the understanding of the heavens current since antiquity and raised interest in teachings such as the heliocentric theory of Copernicus. In reaction, scholars such as Cosimo Biscaglia maintained that the motion of the earth and immobility of the sun were heretical, as they contradicted some accounts given in the Bible as understood at that time. Galileo's part in the controversies over theology, astronomy and philosophy culminated in his trial and sentencing in 1633, on a suspicion of heresy. The Galileo Affair the process by which Galileo came into conflict with the Roman Catholic Church over his support of Copernican astronomy has often been considered a defining moment in the history of the relationship between religion and science. Topic: <inaudible> Protestantism. The Protestant lands at the beginning of the 17th century were concentrated in northern Europe with territories in Germany, Scandinavia, England, Scotland, and areas of France, the Low Countries, Switzerland, Kingdom of Hungary, and Poland. Heavy fighting, in some cases a continuation of the religious conflicts of the previous centuries, was seen, particularly in the Low Countries and the Electorate of the Palatinate which saw the outbreak of the Thirty Years' War. In Ireland there was a concerted attempt to create «plantations» of Protestant settlers in what was a predominantly Catholic country, and fighting with a religious dimension was serious in the 1640s and 1680s. In France the settlement proposed by the Edict of Nantes was whittled away, to the disadvantage of the Huguenot population, and the Edict was revoked in 1685. Protestant Europe was largely divided into Lutheran and Reformed Calvinist areas, with the Church of England maintaining a separate position. Efforts to unify Lutherans and Calvinists had little success, and the ecumenical ambition to overcome the schism of the Protestant Reformation remained almost entirely theoretical. The Church of England under William Laud made serious approaches to figures in the Orthodox Church, looking for common ground. Within Calvinism an important split occurred with the rise of Arminianism. The Synod of Dort of 1618-19 was a national gathering but with international repercussions, as the teaching of Arminius was firmly rejected at a meeting to which Protestant theologians from outside the Netherlands were invited. The Westminster Assembly of the 1640s was another major council dealing with Reformed theology, and some of its works continue to be important to Protestant denominations. Topic. Puritan movement and English Civil War In the 1640s England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland underwent religious strife comparable to that which its neighbours had suffered some generations before. The rancor associated with these wars is partly attributed to the nature of the Puritan movement, a description admitted to be unsatisfactory by many historians. In its early stages the Puritan movement late 16th-17th centuries stood for reform in the Church of England, within the Calvinist tradition, aiming to make the Church of England resemble more closely the Protestant churches of Europe, especially Geneva. The Puritans refused to endorse completely all of the ritual directions and formulas of the Book of Common Prayer, the imposition of its liturgical order by legal force and inspection sharpened Puritanism into a definite opposition movement. The English Civil War was a series of armed conflicts and political machinations between parliamentarians and royalists. The first 1642 and second 1648 civil wars pitted the supporters of King Charles I against the supporters of the Long Parliament, while the Third War 1649 saw fighting between supporters of King Charles II and supporters of the Rump Parliament. The wars ended with the parliamentary victory at the Battle of Worcester on 3 September 1651. 
The war led to the trial and execution of Charles I, the exile of his son, Charles II, and replacement of English monarchy with first, the Commonwealth of England 1649 and then with a protectorate 1653 under Oliver Cromwell's personal rule. In Ireland military victory for the parliamentarian forces established the Protestant ascendancy. After coming to political power as a result of the First English Civil War, the Puritan clergy had an opportunity to set up a national church along Presbyterian lines, for reasons that were also largely political, they failed to do so effectively. After the English Restoration of 1660 the Church of England was purged within a few years of its Puritan elements. The successors of the Puritans, in terms of their belies, are referred to as dissenters and nonconformists, and included those who formed various reformed denominations. Topic. Puritan emigration Emigration to North America of Protestants, in what became New England, was led by a group of Puritan separatists based in the Netherlands, the Pilgrims. Establishing a colony at Plymouth in 1620, they received a charter from the King of England. This successful, though initially quite difficult, colony marked the beginning of the Protestant presence in America the earlier French, Spanish and Portuguese settlements were Catholic. Unlike the Spanish or French, the English colonists made little initial effort to evangelize the native peoples. <inaudible> Roman Catholicism <inaudible> <inaudible> Devotions to Mary Pope Paul V and Gregory XV ruled in 1617 and 1622 to be invalid to state that Mary was conceived non-immaculate. Alexander VII declared in 1661 that the soul of Mary was free from original sin. Popular Marian piety was even more colorful and varied than ever before. Numerous Marian pilgrimages, Marian Sav devotions, new Marian litanies, Marian theater plays, Marian hymns, Marian processions. Marian fraternities, today mostly defunct, had millions of members. Topic: <laughs> Pope Innocent XI. Toward the latter part of the 17th century, Pope Innocent XI viewed the increasing Turkish attacks against Europe, which were supported by France, as the major threat for the Church. He built a Polish-Austrian coalition for the Turkish defeat at Vienna in 1683. Scholars have called him a saintly pope because he reformed abuses by the Church, including simony, nepotism and the lavish papal expenditures that had caused him to inherit a papal debt of 50 million scudi. By eliminating certain honorary posts and introducing new fiscal policies, Innocent XI was able to regain control of the Church's finances. <laughs> France and Gallicanism In 1685, Gallicanist King Louis XIV of France issued the revocation of the Edict of Nantes, ending a century of religious toleration. France forced Catholic theologians to support conciliarism and deny papal infallibility. The king threatened Pope Innocent XI with a Catholic ecumenical council and a military takeover of the papal state. The absolute French state used Gallicanism to gain control of virtually all major church appointments as well as many of the church's properties. Topic. Spread of Christianity The expansion of the Catholic Portuguese Empire and Spanish Empire, with a significant role played by the Roman Catholic Church, led to a Christianization of the indigenous peoples of the Americas such as the Aztecs and Incas. Later waves of colonial expansion such as the struggle for India, by the Dutch, England, France, Germany and Russia led to Christianization of other populations, such as groups of American Indians and Filipinos. Roman Catholic missions. During the Age of Discovery, the Roman Catholic Church established a number of missions in the Americas and other colonies in order to spread Christianity in the New World and to convert the indigenous peoples. At the same time, missionaries such as Francis Xavier as well as other Jesuits, Augustinians, Franciscans and Dominicans were moving into Asia and the Far East. The Portuguese sent missions into Africa. The most significant failure of Roman Catholic missionary work was in Ethiopia. 
Although its ruler, Emperor Susenyos, had publicly declared his conversion to Catholicism in 1622, the declaration of Roman Catholicism as the official religion in 1626 led to increasing civil war. Following Susenyos' abdication, his son and successor Fasilides expelled Archbishop Afonso Mendes and his Jesuit brethren in 1633, then in 1665 ordered the remaining religious writings of the Catholics burnt. On the other hand, other missions notably Matteo Ricci's Jesuit mission to China were relatively peaceful and focused on integration rather than cultural imperialism. The first Catholic Church was built in Beijing in 1650. The emperor granted freedom of religion to Catholics. Ricci had modified the Catholic faith to Chinese thinking, permitting among other things the veneration of the dead. The Vatican disagreed and forbade any adaptation in the so-called Chinese rites controversy in 1692 and 1742. Topic: <laughs> Eastern Orthodoxy. The fall of Constantinople in the East, 1453, led to a significant shift of gravity to the rising state of Russia, the Third Rome. The Renaissance also stimulated a program of reforms by patriarchs of prayer books. A movement called the Old Believers consequently resulted and influenced Russian Orthodox theology in the direction of conservatism and Erastianism. Timeline Topic. See also Topic. References Topic. Further reading Essler, Philip F. The Early Christian World. Routledge 2004. ISBN 0-415-33312-1. White, L. Michael. From Jesus to Christianity. HarperCollins 2004. ISBN 0-06-052655-6. Friedman, David Noel ed. Eerdmans Dictionary of the Bible. W. M. B. Eerdmans Publishing 2000. ISBN 0-8028-2400-5. Pelican, Yaroslav Jan. The Christian Tradition, The Emergence of the Catholic Tradition 100-600. University of Chicago Press 1975. ISBN 0-226-65371-4 External links Schaff's The Seven Ecumenical Councils